we only really need to do Mira and uh, and I guess Mandalore and that's pretty much the entire party all talked to at this point like we pretty much got everyone but yeah we can give Kreia see what Kreia's up to I don't think she yes. has much more to say Have oh no she has a couple questions? things uh, teach me more about the force very well what is it that drives you oh yeah and I guess Godo too mm, yeah yep let's yep, do yep, that yep, yep. very well sit with me You have brushed the surface thoughts of another. It is a start. Calm yourself. This time, silence your own thoughts. Keep them still. Imagine the waters of the room of a thousand fountains, each stream suddenly falling silent and still. Imagine the ice of Telos, cold and smooth, as it gathers upon the plateau. Now, stretch out. Feel the ship around you. Strip away the metal, and see the souls and minds of those that fill its corridors with more thoughts and dreams and worries than can fill the space of this ship. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death, and... If I up the Dubana gas levels in the carbine, that would be enough to punch a hole even in triple Durasteel. And we'll need weapons like that if the Republic discovers the camp on Duxon. From the first movement flows the second. Strike. Repeat. Circle one's opponent. Repeat. Faster. Quicker. If father had been faster. Hmm. If only father hmm. had been faster. If I was faster, I would no longer be the last of my sisters. But does Atrus love him? Jedi do not love. Does Atrus hate him? <laughs> this place is so quiet. Nothing like Narshada. Next channel. I don't yep. know why I'm here. <laughs> yep. Fast forward. The on the Jedi is now. I don't understand how that Jedi keeps in shape like he does. He's barely changed from the Hollow Records. He just seems to be naturally young. Switch the face of the plus one go. minus one card. The totals are nine ten. Switch the face of the plus two minus two. Oh my card. god, this dude is so good. <laughs> Surface <laughs> layer. Yep. And I obey as I did at Malakor. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar. Switch the face of the plus one I minus one card. Fear. The totals are nine ten. Switch the face of the plus two. Please the minus two card. Still the total is eight. And I obey Switch. as I did at Malakor. That sound in the background. What is, what is it? it? Not now. Focus on my voice. Malakor. Now do you hear me? Truly hear me. I hear you. This is incredible. You have taken the first steps on a much longer road, Exile. What hey, about the droids? We need to hear the droids. The droids cannot be read in such a way. As for the alien who served with you in the war, its thoughts are more difficult, requiring many translations in meaning. Uh. Often it is better to read their impulses and images than their spoken thoughts. That is why he is deaf to you. I have found <gasps> his impulses are cold, like a dead weight. His thoughts are black. She can't hear him. She can't hear Beodor. Huh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love it. Um, oh, okay. So we got some shit. Don't do not tell her. I was straight up not going do to. Not tell I her. was absolutely not do going not to. Tell her. No, yeah, for yeah, sure. No, absolutely. But 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 um, the way he spoke just now almost sounded like he knows you were listening in response yes he knows you were listening yeah that yeah, was direct yeah, yeah. response yeah, right? yeah 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 okay because i'm like everyone's doing their own thing and he's like hey man no I, I got you i hear you <laughs> <laughs> well i mean you mentioned it before where it's like literally all you did was nod and i'm like yep time to go push the button yeah you might be connected to Beodor on a level that is unbelievable. Yo, that big old spiky alien head, I can't read shit! Yeah, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Such is the case with primitive minds. It is a mind. Totally! Oh, yeah, 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 what yeah, a fucking yeah, 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 Oh, I love it. no higher than a beast. Yeah, he's a primitive. 
He's a fucking animal, Korea. Oh, I love it. Oh, now we're playing. We are playing fucking mind games <laughs> while playing mind games. Oh my god. Oh. Interesting. Oh, so good. Yo. Also, there was something wrong with Atten's thoughts. Did you pick up on that? Queen to bishop. Mm -hmm. Um, What's going on? Yeah, I mean, we know this. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we, we get what's going on. There was. It is because Atten was not playing Pazak, yet he counts cards in his head. At times, he will list off engine sequences, memorize the hyperspace routes on the other side of the galaxy, count the ticking in the power couplings, even though they are fixed. At other times, he will imagine certain base lusts, certain indignities. It may be Atten is far cleverer than he feigns to be, or perhaps he is simply a fool. Okay, so she actually kind of caught on to it, slash... Well, she figured it out a long time ago, because she figured it out when we were on Telos. In that moment. Yeah. But I, I, I guess because uh, but, but the way she's playing that out is like oh maybe there's more there who knows right yeah well we are, so this is this, this is, is our this is our like this is your first little hint that maybe there's something going on with that if that we you don't didn't know about. already yeah, yeah, get yeah, through yeah, his, yeah, his yeah. dialogue yeah because right. obviously uh, Atten's thing is context sensitive it requires you walking in a specific location with him mm -hmm. and you could have been you could have saved Narshadal last you could have just not known you didn't take him with you right ask and I will answer um. <laughs> what the fuck are you? They've already done that one. Uh, we yet. did that. What are the master? Did you know Atris? You know, the council cost you out. How come the Jedi? None of them. Uh, did, so I we, ask, did we ask this? I I'm pretty sure we did, but let's double check. Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> yeah, did yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, we yeah, did yeah, do yeah. this. Right? No one remembers you. Yeah. And, like, what the fuck? Why is that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then perhaps right. you should Yeah, yeah, cloud the other memories of others. Yeah, yeah. And on yeah. the as I said. She she's got some good shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ask. Uh, uh we do have one more thing we can do, but we have to back out and talk to her again. We have to set up a specific line, line of dialogue. Also, mm, maximum force points increased. Yeah. Okay. So besides the obvious lore and story implications of a uh, of talking with Kreia, that's the other big thing you get from her is XP and force points increased from humongous from, mind reads. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have you come with questions? Uh, I want. I wish to learn about lightsaber combat. Yep. Very well. So this is uh, restored content. You need to have uh, Vsauce with a lightsaber and you with a lightsaber, and you can do this. If you travel with us, blinded one, then you shall work for your passage on this vessel. Your lightsaber, give it to me. I shall die before it passes from my hands. Your lightsaber, give it to me. <laughs> the crystal I took from the condensed mist sunk. At <laughs> it is adequate. You are <laughs> Damn. The energy for such things surpasses mine, and your skill is enough that you may teach him the basics of the weapon. There is much that he has forgotten. There is only so much I can teach him. That fact did not escape me. <laughs> Try to kill her with a single blade. Use no other force technique, no items, merely the blade. Why the single hand? Mm. Because you may not always have your right hand. Now <laughs> do it. Very well. Wait. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. This is no Ichani etiquette ritual. Do not ask her. Attack her. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. You tried. All right, no force powers, only yeah, attack. I could have, um, the last one was just like, what yeah. was, my pleasure. Yeah, right? my, pleasure. my pleasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got, we got to be careful on our, on our, on our journey yeah. to the, into the gray. Oh, you're just going to chill? Yeah, just going to watch. Oh, okay, so she gets to use force powers, but you get to use no force powers. Also, she's wasting them on you because none of those force powers work on you. On you're a sentinel. Oh, except for she's healing. That's she's okay. healing. She, oh, she finally got you with a choke. I'm choking. Ow. Okay, no, wait, hold up. Hold up. Bringing it back. Now do it with two weapons, one in each hand. Again, no items. Shit, this could be a problem. No force power. She ain't Let that weak. you can do when your hands and mind are divided. So we get for no leveling, leveling her up. Other than weapon skill. 
Let the force fill the cracks in your spirit. Oh, no and healing. And no healing. <sighs> Shit. Double sided, double handed. Well, but. hopefully she's out of force power in that fight, so she can't pop any and more I, buffs. I can't heal, right? Yeah, I think you just gotta keep swinging. Luckily, Flurry has no debuffs right now, so just keep hitting. Oh wow, we hit. That's impressive. Okay, yeah, so she's out of force power, so okay. we're okay. Yep, we're, we're okay. okay. We're okay. Now, That's actually really impressive that we're hitting weapon. with no training you, and two weapons. Blinded one, you will keep yours. Let us see what you can do when you have no weapons left to you. Now, attack her. Punch, Dead Eye. All right. Keep flurry doing. It keep is. hitting flurry. We healed a little bit. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Should be okay. Should be okay. One more. This is enough. There is nothing more for me to teach you. You know as much of battle as I. Big stomps. Very, Very well. well. Finesse lightsabers. So we're better with lightsabers. So we gained the the feet weapon finesse lightsaber. So we just get a. Oh, and I guess I guess Kray is just hanging out here now. Yeah. <laughs> At least until we reset the situation. Yeah. All right, ladies. Great. Uh, let's see what, uh... Well, first off, we should probably re-equip our, our lightsaber because it didn't pop us out of here, but, uh... Motherfuck. Yeah. Luckily, we had enough lightsabers to do that because we picked up enough lightsabers, so... Oh, yeah, because you got to hand her one, take yeah. an alternate, yeah. and then swing yours. Oh, you pop... Yep. You're pulling uh, them out mm, every time. Mm, Ooh, big mm, bugs, big mm, bugs, big bugs. Again, restored content, don't worry too much about that. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's see what Kraya's got to say now. Yes. Have you come with questions? Not hanging out in your uh, shame room anymore, huh? You switched it up. Seems that's about it. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh, teach you about the force, maybe? It might be something else Very in there. Well, what is it that? Any more? Some, uh, no. That's uh, that's just learning what each one does. Um, before when I heard the thoughts of my companions, I heard something like an echo. Also, if you're if you're list for the people on uh watching the anime right now. Or even 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 watching the manga as it's being written live. Um, let's play this the Kotor two drinking game. And every time the word echo comes up, take a shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, earlier when I pointed something out, she said, "Ignore that. Listen to my voice." Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I had wondered if, but your powers are strong indeed. There are places in the galaxy, strong in the Force, light, dark. They are born in places teeming with life, and in places that are filled with death. Worlds whose surfaces are graveyards, whose screams echo through the Force. <laughs> Take it a shot. It is possible for war, for men to give birth to such places, to leave wounds on the galaxy itself. What you heard was the echo of the past, and it travels still. That's two shots, boys. <laughs> but what is it? I don't want to hear it anymore. It's familiar. It's inside me somehow. It sounds that Echo 4 is more than beyond the ship. It's the people in it. Um, let's go three. Okay. The answer will come to you in time. It must. When there is nothing more that you may learn from me. When the ruins of your past have been cleared away and I am no more. Then you shall know what it is. And if you do not, then the galaxy shall die. And all my hopes for you will have been for nothing. When... Ah, fuck. I wanted that first line. You can ask again, I'm pretty sure. Ask the other questions? Ask. Oh, also, there's that too. Uh, so we just, we'll just back out and re-ask again if you want to read that line again. But, uh... Let's just do this one. Yeah, it's there. What of them? You aren't just training me, you're testing her. Perhaps. There is truth in what the servant of Atris says. Much may be communicated in the motions of battle. It is a picture, a dance against someone trying to describe that motion. All right, what have you learned? I have learned that we do not need to kill her. <laughs> oh, good. But if we want one that has truly fallen to the dark side, we should look elsewhere for our allies. I believe she should serve our purposes. She is the doorway that may lead us to her lord if it proves necessary. 
or bring him to us. She's standing yeah, right she, there. She's she's literally right there. Also, hey. It's the same thing, just if, if you're using awareness, wisdom, intelligence. If Is that why you tolerate Handmaiden's presence? Because she's a doorway to Atris? Is that why you tolerate her presence? Yeah. Doorway to, okay, so yeah, all yeah. of these things. Yeah, yeah. So it's one of the three you want to pop there. But it's the same question. Is that why you tolerate Handmaiden? Because mm -hmm. she's a doorway to Atris. You will learn quickly. Perhaps. The blinded one is more of an unknown quality, however. You want to use her? <laughs> Standing. That is what I said. And I will gladly turn any such blade pointed at us and send it stabbing into the heart against anyone who dares to harm you. Then I guess we'll keep her on board. Okay. It is good we see this in the same perspective. There are many among the Jedi who would openly object to such things. It's like, you don't want to see me harmed because you love me. Yes. Yeah. Totally. Yep. <laughs> That's what it is. Big nailing of it. Yep. For sure. All right. So we can we can do that that uh force yes. I think through here again. Uh. Yeah. 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 Very well. It was. Uh, oh shit! It might be gone. Okay. Well, basically, what it was was it was like when the galaxy when is I'm ruined gone, and, I, and I am gone. You will know the truth. You'll and if not, then everything I did will, is everything for will burn. Everything will burn. Yeah. That makes me think that... Is that some big foreshadow? Yeah, but also I'm thinking... And that makes me think that it's almost like... Like, maybe there's things you don't know because she has... Perhaps the ability to suppress thoughts in people's heads? Hmm. She literally has the ability to make herself unknown to other people? Mm -hmm. And maybe she has the ability to run that on your fucking train. You hey, know? well, she said she no, she wouldn't do it to you, but also she said you wouldn't know if she wouldn't do it to you. Exactly. Also, also uh, let's talk about the skill lesson, because uh, we did talk about it, but uh, but uh, let's just do it here real quick. Have you done as I asked? Because I'm pretty sure we already did it. Oh, I guess we didn't do it. All right, well, there we go. There was our one point. Yeah, that's right. We, did, we put the point in, but we didn't actually finish this. So, yeah, stealth. I've devoted myself to relying on not being seen. Yeah. Devoted. Very yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Then one know point. This. How some situations play out depend on who is perceiving them and whether they are being perceived. Your ability to control the perception of others in such situations will allow you to manipulate events to resolve them peacefully or violently. Skill does not always draw from the Force, but it is a measure of power nonetheless. It can grant knowledge, help steady oneself when one's thoughts are in chaos, or grant enlightenment. Much can be achieved without the Force, as you know. Life continues, persists, and may be helped or harmed as a result. Now I am tired. Leave me to my meditations. You've gained a bonus to your weakness and strongest skills. You also recovered some of your connection to the Force. So your strongest skill gets a bonus and your weakest skill gets a bonus. Man, like, I'm, I can't believe the first impression I had of this lady I was when about we to saw say. her. Remember when she was a grumpy Obi-Wan? I can't believe yeah. how fucking different yeah, that is. Yeah, no, I love when you were like, oh yeah, From she's like she's like a now. she's like a grumpy old man Obi-Wan. I was like, yeah, she big definitely old, was, Willie. Big old brown robe. Yeah, that's what she is. That's exactly what she is. Oh what are you talking about? God. Also, man, all that XP and all that extra force powers, man. Woo! Okay. I, th I think that's it. I think that's it for her dialogue for now, which I, the fact that we're still going. She has so much to talk about. Hey, you gotta catch up every once in a while, right? Oh, yeah. look, we're back up a little bit. Yeah. Also, we have a lot of force powers, uh, force points. 344. I think lightning takes 12. No, it takes a bit more because we're on the light side, so it's like 20. Well, so we can cast it a lot. Uh, anything to say? Vsauce? My life for yours. Dead. Oh yeah, I guess we can give her one beast, beast trick if we want to. I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. Yes. Yeah. I understand now. I shall practice what you have taught me. How? Don't worry about it. With what? Don't worry about it. You know who I we should worry about though? Uh, yeah. Adden? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 waifu, big titty goth, Sith girl, we got it. But, uh, Atten though. Well, Atten. Atten, what's up? But also, I... Oh, no, you're looking for him. He's in the main area. You were you're no, walking no, the right way. No, no, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, General. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, same thing. You teach him stuff. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I'm. Mm-hmm. Here's the best part about this. You don't even have to talk Thank to him about general. what just happened. That might prove mm-hmm. I guess not. Because you would know. I guess yes, not. General. If you think they'll help. I mean, we already talked a big thing about force, uh, force bonds. Practice, but I- so, uh. Yes, general. If you think they'll help. Make Beodor super powerful. Beast trick. It'll take practice. Yes, general. Sorry, general. Yeah, I'm there out. That's Something shields. Can- Great. Also, if you're looking for Kando the Mando, he should be in the main area. There he is. Nice ship you have here. Where did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> good question. That is a super good question. Uh, you know, one thing led to another. Oh, you just be straight up. Got it from a Sith warship. <laughs> you did. I see. Well, you were lucky to get it then. This is a fast ship. Well made. I'll bet she'd have some stories to tell. Now, was there something else you needed? This dude is just, hilarious. Just the fact that three of your party members know what's up. Yeah, and they're looking around. Hey, going, going like, wait a minute. Nice ship. What the fuck's going on here? Interesting. Yeah. Just looking over where his room used to be. Yeah. Um, let's take on the Republic. Give me some stimulants. Anything I can help out. Can you do anything to help out? I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy. But I will not be your errand boy. <laughs> Find some other lackey to do your bidding. Well. Now is there something else you needed? <laughs> What's your t- I mean, we know what we, your take We did yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Republic is a sta- were it not for Revan's- Yeah, and then that, we've already done this. We mm-hmm. did this, all that. So here's the- <sighs> The unfortunate thing about Mandalore. There's nothing. Okay. There's nothing. There's no- in, Like, we can gain and in, in minus influence all we want, but- Besides some story-related stuff and, like, some contextual stuff, there's nothing here. It definitely feels like it wasn't completely fleshed out. For his, I mean, definitely not to the same degree as other characters. I'm not accusing you. Now is there some... All right. So, let me get it. Oh, yeah, let's see that. Want to talk about your operations in our shop? Maybe, maybe? Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, okay, good. We're getting down the right path. We're getting I'm willing path. to indulge some of your questions. Uh, a lot of your operations in our shop are carried out by droids. Mm-hmm. Droid in the Pazak Den was built to play, to lose, and to watch the other players. Oh, we're talking about that. Yeah, one. remember that? Remember those little weird things yeah. on the side of their arms? Yeah, and yeah, stuff? yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Perhaps I used such a droid to watch and predict the flow of the games. Yes, you are very perceptive. Hmm. <laughs> Super racing on Narsadas, dominated by a droid. Yep. The Bith off the docks, who was murdered by his droid after he'd found his frequency, was being used all over the moon to relay information. Mm hmm. It is so unfortunate when an intelligent sentient dies on Nar Shaddaa. It is also unfortunate that thousands die such deaths on the smuggler's moon every day. I think you, you use, use droids, droids in, in your, your operations, operations because, because you are a droid! droid. Something else you wish to know, or do not you enough influence. <laughs> Did, and you know, they actually went through the trouble of showing me a hologram of him, of some guy talking mm-hmm. when we first got introduced. Mm-hmm. That is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're gonna like where this Goto. goes. Goto is great. I won't say what, but you, I think you know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I think you fucking know what's up. That's really funny. Let me ask about Voga. Let's see if we can we can get a couple points in the. Oh. Uh, you want to, yeah the uh, operations there. Let's talk yes, about Voga and see if we can't get him on our side. Operations Narshada. For sure, as we fix the galaxy's problems, 
he'll give us cash and then say the evil response and he'll will for sure get points. That's the easiest way to do it. I am certain you would know more about his activities than I would. I warn you, once you deal with the hots, they will always have a hold over you. <laughs> I am certain that in your short sightedness, such eventualities do not bother you. Okay. Let's see what other questions we got. See if we can maybe speak. talk about this. We've done that. Uh, we've done all these, except for, I think, yeah, we've done all these. Okay, so there's nothing here yet. But I guarantee there will be something there at some point. All we have to do is fix some galaxy-wide problems, that's all. Just gotta fix the galaxy as we go. Fix the YouTube system. Mm-hmm. Something up? <laughs> Atten. I mean, we already know, but yeah. sure. Why, why do you play Bazak in your head? Passes the time. It's better than listing off engine sequencers, memorizing hyperspace routes, or counting ticks in the power couplings. That doesn't answer my question. Oh, ooh, no, there are no ticks in the power coupling. It's oh. fixed. Of course it's fixed. And that's why you should count the ticking in the power coupling, too. <laughs> uh, you see, the thing is, is that he's already spoken to us. Yeah, so we know what's up. We know what's up. But, but this is a little extra conversation. Yeah, let's play this out. Let's play this out because this goes, in a, this goes in a fun way. Okay, you're not making any sense. It doesn't answer my questions. Forget it. You're not answering. <laughs> Looks at player. That means you're actively... Why do I play Pizarre? Reading it while you're doing right, that. I'll show you. Let's play. Did he look at me personally? I think he was just looking at a player. <laughs> All right, let's play around a Pizarre with uh, with Atten. Uh, we got the good shit out. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything that needs switching. No, I think we got a pretty solid deck right now, all things considered. All Get right. Tiebreaker, can't go wrong with that. Tiebreaker. Haven't used one yet, so we'll see. 15. So this is a win or lose. You're fine either way. If we lose this game, we can still pr progress the plot. Okay, well, we can't win this one, so. That's fine. Just did stand. We'll beat this. We'll get him on the next round. 14. Ah, he's going first and he's still a smaller number. That always sucks. Ah, 16, well, we can. There, we go. there you go. Yeah. Beat that. Tie, but at least he's one card down. Okay. Ooh, that's. An, oh, well, I mean. I'll hit the 19. Can you flip to tiebreaker? Flip it. Make sure. Yeah. So it's minus. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. There you go. And if you tie as you win. So, Perfect. Yeah. Wow, that card came in handy for once. Yeah, it actually did. 12. Shit. Well, here we go again. Well, 19 is a good number to stand yep. on. Come on. Yeah, cheater. You fucking cheater. Of course, Atten would cheat. Get the fuck out. And that's what we love about him. He cheats. Are we pulling from the same deck? In theory? I don't know. I assume like, whatever I, assume I so. don't pull is what he gets. I don't know. I don't know okay. how many duplicates there are. I don't know the, the entire ins and outs of Bazak, but uh, I, if, if it's. Yeah. I don't know if it's a combination of different 16, decks. 16, hit that 16, 17, that's, 18, that's, that's, that's the 19. Yeah, that's the 19. We can stand. And there we go. Down to one. Down to, oh, he's at 10. That's bad for him. Don't get ones or oh, that'll be the suck. Okay, we're good. He's going to he's gonna hit his. We'll know what to beat soon. There we go. Motherfuck. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Don't have a choice. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yes, son of a bitch. Don't have a choice. Yeah, because we both drew a six. He has a six and we have a six, so I, I don't think it's a, match. like one of each. Now, what are you thinking about right now? Uh, Pazak, of course, the game. I was trying to compute totals to 20. Which is, yeah, what we're doing. Thinking about why I was playing the stupid game, wondering if you have a skifter off your sleeve. I mean, also that too, but yeah, two for sure is the one we want. Right, and that's why I play Pazak in my head. Because if you don't, you've left the door open, and anyone could walk right in. Uh, I could just tell him straight up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you can... Yeah. yeah. Of course you did. You see, Jedi, light or dark, do it more often than you'd think. But I never heard one say they were sorry before. That's a new house. <laughs> you've used Pazak to shield your thoughts. Ah, I play Pazak in my head. I like that. But while I'm doing that, it's a lot harder for someone to walk in. 
Oh. Can you teach me to shield my thoughts? No. I can only teach you to play Pathak. He's holding the cards. Do you understand That's what I'm cool. saying? Then I want to yes. learn that. Then I want to learn to play Pazak. Yes. Good. Now you understand. All right. I'll deal then. If you're ever fighting someone who has the power over your mind, whether light or dark, play Pazak. Start listing hyperspace routes, recite engine sequencers. And when they try to use their powers on you, suddenly it's not as easy as they thought. Jedi do it all the time. And when they walk in the dark places of your mind, they'll use it to hold you by the throat. You see, the problem is that it didn't work on Kreia. But it's pretty cool that you've got that. Well, here's the thing. It didn't work. It worked on Kreia at the start. And then it did. And then it was. And then when we were in the cells on the in a <laughs> Atrus's academy, it was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Like, like eventually she figured it out. Right. So like, it's enough for someone walking by. Yeah. In one encounter to which, be like, which, whatever. Which he does mention. He does mention but, earlier. But, but being on the same ship as her. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. For, when for you're around them for a long period of time, time right? Yeah. Pure Pazak. So there you go. We got an extra willpower save. Turns out I like Pazak anyway. Yeah. It just you know win-win. Plus but, one to your willpower saves. How about plus one to my Pazak? But I, I love that idea that you're just basically filling up your mind with garbage that yes. doesn't matter to, so that you can't get fucking... You can't... Your mind... No mind break here. It's possible, but it's much harder because yeah. there's something clearly distracting yeah. up front. Yeah. Because, yeah, you mentioned before, like, yeah, you just think about something else and then don't think about stabbing a... Uh, stabbing the Jedi in the back, think about something really dumb so they don't so they don't suspect you as they're walking by, and then stab them in the back while you're thinking about Just it. Just think right? about frame data. Yeah, exactly. Just think about frame data in my head. Yeah, exactly. It's plus one on block. What? Think about uh, think about tweaking your amp settings when you're playing guitar and going like, man, if I just bring the mids up to like maybe like a six instead of a five, it'll help kind of cut through. But, oh, but if I go a little bit higher, that'll work. But it'll get too muddy, etc. So on. We so text the throw or a neutral, and then I can press my three frame jab. That'll be fastest. All right, snare on two and four is really really. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the classic, but I want to do snare on three. I want to do like a nice breakdown for this part here. Uh, and we'll oh, this guy's an idiot. He's not thinking of anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Uh, what did I lose? Item wise. I don't know. I only lost something. Oh, maybe lost credits. The fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. I think it was an extra deck. It just, just in case we didn't have a, I think it was extra cards just in case uh, you didn't have the cards for the, the match. Okay, okay. They get loaded cool. in for that specific cutscene, so. You know, we're talking to everybody. Why not go talk to the Handmaiden? Yeah, I agree. Sorry, who are you thinking of? I mean, mirrors are right over there, but. Who? I, no, no, not, I have no idea. If we're talking about people with a great ability is to, to reduce their presence. What you Man, up to here, buddy? She's just a natural. Uh... Do you know Mandalore? Do, do, do you do you know Mandalore? Uh, <laughs> hey! What? Once. Once. Well, Pull, pulls on a pulls on di digital. Uh, takes the splicing stick and pulls on a on on collar. Why doesn't he recognize you? Uh, um, mm, 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 probably because I'm a droid. No one cares about you know, droids. We, just, we blend in. Yeah, but not every droid is the same. Well, maybe they are to a Mandalorian. <gasps> Can you tell, tell me, me what, what happened, happened to Candorus? I want to see the hollow Boy, record. do we want to fucking see that hollow record. Oh god, is there dialogue not pl playing right now? Oh no, please tell me there's not- Oh god. Oh god, there's supposed to be dialogue playing right- Oh, that's so there's not supposed to be audio playing? No, there's no audio. Okay, okay, it's just a- yeah. It's just a recording, it's not audio. It's just camera, I guess. Can we get an up-close of that- of that Revan over there? Yeah, where's the sound? Okay, good. Woo! Where's the sound? It looks like Revan needed Candorus. Revan wasn't trying to kill Candorus, she's trying to break him, but why? Yeah. Revan wasn't yeah, trying same to thing, kill Yeah, same thing, same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Or treat injury. Yeah, yeah which is That's a weird, weird one. So 
So Candorus left and returned to the Ducks and Moon, started to gather his clan. Uh, I mean, I still have to talk. Yeah, why'd you show me this? Not enough info here. Because you asked. Also, thank God T3 super likes us. Glitch, I get it. Thanks, I appreciate the trust. Yeah. Yeah, why doesn't he recognize you? Oh, yeah, I can, that just takes us down the same path again. Um... I can tell you apart. Uh, I want more out of that. I want more out of that. Mm, that might be it. Shit. I mean, I feel like the response to the question you wanted would have been deets and deets anyways. Like, it wouldn't have given you what you want. Yeah, she was breaking him. What's this fucking... Revan the Breaker of Minds. Well, remember, Revan ended KOTOR 1 on the dark side, right? So... Yes. But all of this, all of this, like, sh this, like, the fourth, like, yeah, I was doing a good old mind break. You know. Seems to be in, seems to be, a uh, like, a uh, Revan's MO at this point. Basically. Uh, anything else here? Mm. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. Okay. I'd be pr pretty much maxed out of that stuff there. I wonder if Candorus has anything to say about this. I actually legit wonder if Candorus has anything yeah. to say about this. I want to have a word with you. Oh, oh good. What is it? I wanted to make sure that we have some things clear. Oh. Right now, we both seek the same goals. Whatever our reasons may be, the Sith must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Mm -hmm. To survive, I'll help you. But as Mandalore, I have another duty. The unification of the clans. Um... How do you plan on doing that? Yeah. After our defeat at Malachor, the survivors spread across the Outer Rim, many taking up work as mercenaries, or worse. But they cannot have fallen so far that they will not recognize a new Mandalore has been chosen. One who will restore our people to glory. I'll fight beside you. But I'm warning you, don't get in my way. I'm not asking for help. I'm just asking you to let me do this. Cross me, and I might have to reevaluate our arrangement. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I can't stand while you resurrect a threat to the Republic, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, some threat if they're like, well, if the Jedi die and the Sith show up, we're all dead. And it's like, so how weak are you right now? I'll consider <laughs> what you've said. Yeah. After the Sith are dealt with, you can turn your attention to us. Or maybe we can forge an alliance of our own. That would be really our fucking useful. Need not be fought against your Republic. I agree. Consider what I've said. Now is there something else you needed? Uh, and then you're back to that. Yeah, alright. Well, that's good enough then. Yep. Uh, so... So basically, hey, if we come across any groups of Mandalorians in rooms... We should t bring out Mandalore and see if uh, see if he's uh, got anything to say to them. Yeah, one second there, Handmaiden. Uh, where the fuck did that little fucker roll to? Oh, T3? Yeah. I mean, he's rolling around. I think he's going back towards the engine in the back. Usually I can hear him. There he is. Yeah, he's just doing around doing maintenance. Doing his thing. When I was captured by Goto, how, how T3, are you do you know Mandalore? That's that's the thing you wanted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay. To do that. We got this again. Once, if you wanted to finish up with that thing, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, what happened? Uh, of course, I want to know by who his master. Yeah. And, and your, your master. master. But why? Yes, want to see that? We already saw that, so we'll just click through it. Oh, we're locked in. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, and let's see if you can explain what the fuck this is actually. I, I doubt it, but we'll see. Also, can we explain why we can see Candorus' eyeballs? Eyeballs. A couple character models have that, yeah, and it's yeah, uh, yeah. it's interesting. It's it's putting a transparency on, on all of the model. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't do it on every character. Some characters, the eyes are fine. Some characters mm -hmm. are not. Mm -hmm. She broke him. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, go through awareness, wisdom again. Doesn't matter which one. Yeah, so there you go. Number two is the one you want it. 
deet. Yeah, so literally. Nah, you get yeah, nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Cool. Uh, other questions? Uh, Goto? Yeah, how'd you find me? I mean, we know what happened, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> Snuck into Voga's droid warehouse to steal, to steal the codes. Oh, boy. Big old droid adventures. Yep, 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 yep. It was a crazy story, bro. Wild night. Mm -hmm. Who was transmitting the codes to the yacht? Yeah, who was doing that? The droids. Interesting. Interesting. All right. That's another one of those who was doing the droids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Out of curiosity, go back and talk to Goto and mention that. Because that's another one of those, uh, hey, the droids were doing it, Goto. What's going on with you, uh, with those droids? Yes. Is there something you have come to offer me? Operations on Narshada. I am willing to. Uh, number two, yeah, number three. Bloody operations were carried out by droids. Yep. So, they are known qualities. I also use them on board my ship for defense. But that in itself means little. I assure you, I am as flesh and blood as mm -hmm. you are. Yeah, sure. I simply find personal meetings distasteful. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fogos Raiders are being hijacked, yep. Perhaps, though if you seek to trick me into an admission of my guilt, then you have thought wrong. Dragon. Indeed. How is yeah, so... Now? Is there something... yeah. Okay, so nothing yet. But, that's just one more extra thing of like... Hey! Seem to have a thing for droids. We got a little bit of XP from that. Yep. Um... And okay. Yeah, and then we've pretty much exhausted all that at this point. Okay. Okay. <laughs> H U G H M A N N. Human. <laughs> yep. Yep. For sure. For sure. So Big humans here. Where is you? There you be. Let's see if she's got anything to say. Oh, I got some to yes. teach her. Yeah. Uh. Oh wait, no, that's right. She's the only one of the few that you can't teach. She's oh, the only one really? that you can't teach for some reason. Oh, even, okay. even with the restored content mod. Mm. I am training. Mm -hmm. And then we've done this. Mm -hmm. Yep. That. Yeah, we've yeah. done all that. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Handmaiden is kind of done until uh yeah. until context specific stuff. Okay. All right. I think we've pretty much exhausted everything at this point with Handmaiden. Oh, oh, there was a compartment. Secret compartmental. Oh, is so it just the next room? Yeah, I guess. Just can't just can't click on it. Okay, fair enough. Looks like you can click on it, but uh you can't. Yeah, you can't click on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, well let's just fucking, you know. Just, just do for it for completion's sake. Oh fuck, Mira, you're here. Something wrong. Grenades. More grenades. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Uh, what happened between you and Hanhar? Did I didn't kill him once? Biggest mistake ever. Didn't we do this? I don't think so. I think it's this is the one that we got stuck really on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now again, Mira, be nice. Top replies primarily will get you through this. Be nice to her. Yeah. She's a goody two-shoes because she doesn't kill her targets. So what top replies. Happened? Well, Hanhar and me go way back in the worst possible way. He's from some forest planet on the outer rim where Zerka had set up one of their slaving operations. <laughs> Do you know the name of his little I mean, We know, but... I don't remember the name. Something with too many K's and Y's. Yeah. Sounds like you're gargling Ronto spit when you say it. Kind of racist, but whatever. Well, do you know what he even is? Yeah. No idea. He's wow. On her. I hope there aren't any more like him. I get the impression he's you not uncultured a fuck. people, though. He's the equivalent of a mad calf hound among Rontos. Some of Voga the Het's men said Hanhar killed his own tribe, but those two crud thugs lie every time they open their mouth, so who knows? How could you not even know what no, race what? he is? Like, so again, continuing to add to the pile of fuck Mira. That's insane. How you literally you? don't even recognize a race. And you walked into a bar with no plan and got captured. And you don't even care. And like, you just, she's just fucking dumb. Like, th that is, here's why that's dumb, right? Let's say you're like, I'm just focused on what matters and concerns me. I don't care mm -hmm. about the details. If a race of 
any kind in this world has a particular attribute that might be a help or hindrance to you, mm -hmm. you need to know about it. Mm -hmm. If I'm in this galaxy and I see something I've never seen before, I am going to find out what that thing is. Yeah. Because yeah. what if that thing has a thing that's going to be a problem yeah. and or a good thing for me? Also, there's the hollow net, and if she's smart enough to look up Jedi bounties and use it to track down bounties, she's smart enough to type in what species is the furry one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's like, that, I suppose. Like, just like, it uh, takes two seconds to go, what the fuck is, oh, it's a Wookiee. Oh, okay, great, moving on. Yeah, but it's just like, oh, there's the fucking race over here where, like, if you touch one of them, you can, like, run super fast. I don't know, whatever. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. Not nonsense! Bullshit! Yeah. Yeah, 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 we yeah. don't know how the fucking world works. You gotta know everything about these species when you meet them, yeah. man. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. What an idiot. Yeah. Do you know the name of his homeworld? Oh, we did that. Sorry. So he was <laughs> Good slave. point. What race is Yoda? Yeah. Well, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to ask more. All right. So he was a slave. Well, not for long. Once off planet, Hanhar escaped from the Zerka slavers, then killed them all. Uh, was he wearing those cuffs? Why, why was he wearing those cuffs? I don't know. I always thought he just liked using them as weapons. Okay. All right, Yoda's race, the Yaddles. Yaddles is not. Is Yaddle not? <laughs> just is, shut up. No. Is Yaddle not the Does fucking the, other one? Or the, am I the, thinking the of the race? Race is the Yaddles. Whatever, whatever it is, whatever. He, it's it's Yoda. That's the race. There's one. There's only one or two at a time, and they're just called Yoda. There's one, and, and there's two at any time. It's like the Sith. Uh, be the good boy. Be a good boy, and, and do the good boy responses. Yes. Yoda and Yaddle are the mommy and daddy, and baby Yoda is the kitty. Yeah. There we go. Big yeah. happy family. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing deserves to be caged. Sounds like Circa deserved it. Uh, if they weren't strong enough to hold him, they deserve to die. It's All pretty right. fucking cray of you. <laughs> well, before you get too proud of him, Hanhar figured Zerka had the right idea. I don't think he understood the concept of slavery before, at least on the scale that Zerka practiced it. But now he did. You ever hear of Dursan Three or the ID Cluster Colonies? Who? Wait, how could he not if he understand? I mean, sh like, a, a, a fucking life debt is basically kind of like that, though. Yeah, but maybe he didn't understand like, industrialized slavery. I, I, like, the concept of, like, enslaving a population in mass to your, do your bidding. Also, like, that was kind of, we ran up we ran up against some bullshit on Kashyyyk in part one. Yep. That was like, you know, these Wookiees aren't being nice to other Wookiees. And, um, wasn't there a word they had for, like, when you killed a clansman? Or like when you killed another Wookiee? Oh, and a, well, it, it was Mad Claw. It was uh, if a Wookiee Mad kills Claw, a, another Wookiee with their bare hands. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. we go. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I guess I guess they were blown up. Weren't they destroyed? Intelligence check. Right. That's because Han Har happened. He makes what happened to his home world look like an exercise in community building. He's not a bounty hunter. He's a slaver. A predator. S it's like he's out to enslave or kill every human in the galaxy. Like he's trying to settle some huge score or debt. I don't get it, but he's dangerous. So what you're telling me is we missed out on a Wookiee that kills planets, and co sorry, and kills colonies f for you. Ugh. What? Like, wait, what? It just said it's like Hanhar killed colonies, basically. That's he's how good he out is. Out to enslave or kill every human in the. G what is this character? I what? I'm so confused by that line. All right, uh, who did he work with? You. Anyone who paid credits. And sometimes, he just hunted humans for sport. The ones who survived, he sold to the exchange, to the huts, to anyone who'd buy bodies. Whoa. Living or dead. He and Voga used to do big credit transactions. That hut really liked the look of unwrinkled humans for some reason. Didn't make him too popular with the other huts, let me tell you. <laughs> wow. Hadhar sounds pretty fucking... Bad. Sounds like an angry boy. Sounds very mad. Sounds very, very red. Yep. Very, very red. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you factor in? I was prey. And not only did I escape, but I saved his life while doing it. He's been hunting me ever since. That seems strange. I don't pretend to understand it, but among his people, they have these codes of honor. But somewhere along the line, Hanhar's got twisted. His people form these things called life debts. Mm -hmm. If you save the life of one of them, they pledge themselves to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a foolish cult. Oh. His species will die from S such death. Says the ex-Jedi. Right? 
Uh, that doesn't sound too bad. Well, with Hanhar, he can't escape that life debt. It's bred into him. But he hates every other living thing in the galaxy, so pledging himself to someone else, especially a human, was unbearable. So when I saved his life, it was the worst thing I could do. It was like slavery all over again. But it was in his head. It was like it pushed him over the edge. Okay, that's an interesting concept, but it's also really extreme. What, like, he hated every other living thing in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Like, a, a lot of this sounds very extreme for a rando, like, I mean, I, I, a random Wookiee, cool Wookiee I wanted to, like, find out more about, but a really evil-sounding Wookiee, like, was, like... He hated all things. He hated Basically. all life. Basically. He started hating everything young because he got enslaved young and just said, fuck it. I hate everything. Now, as we mentioned before, the universe is right. Hanhar himself, not a great character because it's just a ball of anger. But what Hanhar represents is very interesting within the context of the story. We'll get more into that later once we finish up Mira's stuff to make sure I don't accidentally say something ahead of time. Yeah, because if you're about to tell me that he's uh, Hanhar Uchiha, we might have some problems. <laughs> However, I uh, do like the idea of him being life debted to something he hates and yeah. thus mentally he cannot escape it. That yeah. sounds fucking terrible. Yeah. What yeah. do you mean? A life debt to Hanhar is a death sentence. He'll hunt you until you're dead. When I saved his life, it meant he had to kill me. And so he kept chasing me in hopes I would die. I think the fact I showed him mercy after hating humans for so long, that was something he couldn't stand. That life debt makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. Like I said, I get the impression a life debt's supposed to be a gift. But to Hanhar, it's more like a curse to both people involved. So he still believed in it. It was deep rooted in him, even yeah. though he was also deep rooted in slavery from birth. Yeah. Uh, what if someone else saved his life? Would he try to kill them? Oh, actually, I actually want to know about that. But. Yeah, but I mean, we'll, we'll work our way through. Probably. But if he had multiple life debts, especially to humans, Hanhar would probably go mad. He was angry before, sure, but he'd be ten times worse if that happened. You mean like when Kreia showed up into the arena mm. and resurrected his life. Mm. Hanhar's tough. Really tough. And when he loses it, it's like nothing can stop him. Uh, well, about that. I've seen him shrug off blaster bolts, both and stunners, and even survive a freighter crash on Dursan 3. Yeah, he but coming. about that. That doesn't... <laughs> that doesn't really... Uh, never mind. Uh, it doesn't pass muster. Hey, any regrets that he's gone? Oh, I'm glad he's gone. It's like a yeah, he's gone. Shoulders. I don't have to keep watching sure. my back every minute, wondering when he's going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he always knew where I was. Any chance he's still alive? Any chance at all? Trust me, if he was still alive, he'd be chasing us even now, waiting to ambush us when we least expect it. And he mm. always shows up at the worst possible time. He was one of the best bounty hunters on Nar Shadda. Anhar never gives up on his prey. Or his life debts. He's a hunter. He's a natural predator. He's hanging on to the back of the Ebon Hawk right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. But yeah, no, basically, long story short, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Cliff Notes you know, version. Long story, and I'm kind of tired of talking about it right now. Failed to check on how. Some other time. It's not much to hear anyway. That's fine. Um, the, uh, we'll get there eventually. But, uh, basically, to paraphrase, Hanhar is a ball of anger. Hanhar is an angry Wookiee. But what Hanhar represents in a game talking about, you know, the Sith Lords and the darks, the nature of the dark side and light side and good and evil, he's an interesting character. Mm. So basically, I can tell you what Hanhar's deal is in the context of having him on your team, if you're interested. I mean, it sounds like, basically, he was, uh life that was given no choice kind of well the, the, the here's the most interesting thing with hanhar uh it's the lesson that kreia teaches you about hanhar and kreia basically uh teaches you the lesson of strength with hanhar and that he is strong he is destructive he can do he can basically 
kill everything he wants. Like, he's just a big, powerful, angry force. But he's trapped by his own rule set. Right. Like his own, by the things like uh, like his life debt stuff and the slavery stuff. Right, That right, he's not, right. that he's, like, the, and that basically strength and power. Power isn't strength, if that makes any sense. Okay. If that's that's the, the actual nature of what he, Thema- what he does. Right, right. Uh, thematically. And, uh, and I won't go too much farther into that, but we'll get more there as as the if a better time pops up to explain it. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's 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 the most interesting thing about Hanhar is the is the is Kreia's observations of Hanhar. Right. There's raw ability applied to a situation, but then there's the filters you create in the form of your creed. Like like as a really good example, as I mentioned, Hanhar wears slave uh, cuffs. Mm-hmm. Like he's literally still wearing the slave cuffs mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so he's mentally and like he's it's like a literal symbol on him saying shackled. i'm still i'm still shackled to my own creed and my own code and i'm right. still in, he's still basically enslaved it's just now he's kind of enslaved to anger and power and, and emotions than it is to uh than he is to an actual person okay uh one other thing i'm wondering about is like a lot of this ping pong and we're doing is that not gonna stick us gray are we are we gonna be okay oh yeah we'll be fine okay we're fine Again, we're only two planets deep. We're not even like we're at, we're at realistically like that. Not even the halfway point yet. Okay. So like we got time. We got time. This is just a really yes. unique playthrough because, uh, yeah, we're not maxing out light or maxing out dark. We're kind of doing a little mixture of, of the in between. So, do you have a name? Before entering Atris's service, yes, I carried a name, as all the children of the Ichani do. What, what was, was it? it? I, I wonder if she'll tell us. It is not important. My title and rank is of consequence, not my name. I take value in Atris's service, not in myself. Mm. You should take value. <laughs> 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 we all have value in our oaths to others and the promises we make. When we make that pledge, we are pledging ourselves to something greater. When importance is placed on the self, then by such acts, the galaxy is unmade. <laughs> and then, yeah, that leads us back around to uh, to uh, the nature. We've had this conversation before, right, with, like okay. Jedi and stuff. Right, so is that two T's in not important, or one? <laughs> if it helps, Wooly, we will eventually get her That's name. fine. Okay, I think we're done here. Yeah. Let me hit that save, and then onward to new things. Onward and upwards. New planets! New planets, indeed. Yay! Away!